very popular option here in Australia is to use a swag. They're lightweight, they're quick to set up. You just, just throw them up on your roof rack and tie them down. Your bedding's all inside, you've got a mattress inside. But what about those who like that bit more, little bit of comfort? There is one other option and that's what we're here to show you today. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, as you just saw in the preview, today I'm going to show you some other options that you can use apart from the iCamper. For those that don't own rooftop tents or camper trailers and don't have a lot of room in your vehicle, as you can see, majority of my vehicle is taken up with the jaws although I do have the space that's behind the two front seats but if you've got passengers I mean they're going to be taken up with passengers and so on so you can't afford to take a lot of gear with you so the other option it doesn't take up much room it's compact very lightweight and it supports a tremendous amount of weight and it's very comfortable some of them fold up small others don't some are a struggle to set up, some are heavy, You're off the ground, so it's perfect. I've got a swag down here and I'll show you the swag shortly. You can just sit your swag on top of that. So let's show you what I'm talking about. So what I've got here, there it is there. It's from a company called Helinox, and what it is, cot. So it's not a cot like you thinking like a baby, it's just what they call these the company uh, specializes in it's a lightweight outdoor adventure equipment for those who haven't seen the drifter tables you can see how quick they are to set up that's it so let's open her up and have a look and see what we've got here so we've got all the legs We might put it together as we go along. Now guys, I have owned this for quite a long time. It's been a long time since I've set this up. So I, I didn't practice on this. Just bear with me, I might have to just go through the instructions quickly. I don't know if there's any instructions in here. We've got four lots of legs here, much like a tent, tent pole setup. So this particular one has got four legs on it. Now I don't even know if I'm fitting these in the correct way. I'm, I'm going to check the instructions so I don't make a fool of myself. So I think there's some instructions on here. Yes there is. So just bear just bear with me. I think we've got the legs on the right way. Yep, that seems right. So what we do next, so this is your bedding material, what you sleep on. So these poles, so this goes, so it does fit through there. what we might do is we'll fast forward this part now if my memory serves me right I think we pull this over like so yes that seems to be about right Okay, so that end is closed. All right, guys, I'm, I'm making this look very awkward. 
And to be honest, it's been a very long time since I've set this up. I'm sure once you work out how it goes together, it won't take long. So there is, there is a little bit of mucking around, it's not, it's not that easy. I mean I would have had my um, rooftop tent spinning and everything set up by now. But then it was also the same, I mean, the first time I set up my, roof, my rooftop tent, I mean it wasn't as quick as what, what I can do it now obviously, but Still didn't take as long as this. <laughs> now I know these, I know these clip in a certain way. So that's what you start with. Okay, so those aluminium poles, they just slide in the sleeve. And this, let me check the instructions here. Insert side frame into each of the cot fabric. Assemble and gauge a base frame to an inner position two diagonally. Okay, so these are, all right, so they go like that. Um, that don't. Okay, guys. Sorry, guys, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. So, okay. I don't know how these go together. This don't look right. Um, Alright, we well, might stop the video here. And I might have to go on YouTube and check this out guys because I've got no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Welcome back. I've sorted out now where I went wrong. If you look at these poles, you see how I got the bend on the upper side. They should be down like that. So that's how they set up. So we'll do that to the rest. Actually that makes sense because that sits like that and that's on the ground. So that side is going to be up. Not the easiest item to put together without looking at the manual and not doing it for quite some time. But we've worked it out. So the next thing what you do if you've got a lever here, so it's a counter, counter lever so it makes it easier to set up. So you hook one end in, like so. Okay. All right, so why did that? Okay. That don't look right. Why is that shorter? Is that shorter? It is too. Why is that shorter? I've got it upside down. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, that looks better. And that goes there. Okay. So yes, you must have a shape like that with these heel on ox beds. That's somewhat frustrating. But I'm sure now we've worked it out. I could very easily just delete this video and redo it again. But no, I want to show you what it's like setting these up for first, particularly first timer. And I presume what we do then is we squeeze these in. And it takes a lot of force. That's not easy, guys. Ooh. Wow, tell you what, these are not the easiest beds to set up. The big advantage that this has got, I suppose, oh, we've done it, it's how light that is. Oh, is that weighs next to nothing. I could pick that up with me little pinky finger, look. I'm just picking that up with the little pinky fing finger. So that's really good. 
Now that's pretty big. Now, let's show you what I've got here. This, I've owned this for quite a while now. You've never seen it much in my videos because to be honest, I think it's only once I've ever taken it away camping because I've always used the OS tent and so on. Actually, a couple of times I've actually used it. Yeah, I lie, that's about two or three times that I've used this. But what this is, this is what's known as the Drifter Classic Swag. So it's made, handmade, by a company called Drifter, which you would have heard about now. I've actually spoken about Drifter a lot, a fair bit in the past on some of my YouTube videos. Now, I like using their products. Now, I'm not paid by them to say anything good about their products. There's one thing with me is when I do a review, I'm honest, okay? Hence why with that Helinox, I could have very simply now that I know how that's put together, I could have simply just put that back in the bag, deleted what I've filmed and start again to make it look, whoa, wow, you know, perfect. But, you know, when you get situations, I mean, for that, I think you need to put it together a number of times before you work out sort of in your head how it how it goes together. So thank goodness they've got instructions on there, but the instructions are not that all that clear in showing which way that bar goes. But we got there in the end. I'm sure if I was to do it again, that'll be done in no time. But what I didn't like is those levers, counter levers, I mean, my wrist is quite sore, so I I'm, don't have the best wrist. So for the younger generation, that would probably be perfect. But I don't know if that's something I would want to set up every day. I think after a few days, my wrist will be, whoa. But let's show you this. So this is made by, with the strain canvas. So... So there it is. So you've got a nice generous sized canvas bag that comes with it. And you've also got this little foot, like you put this just on the sides, you can sit your boots on, uh, you can put your feet on and so on, uh, put your bag on, etc. So it's brilliant for that. So that's a bonus that comes with it. So again, these are available from drifter.com.au. Now, you got these leather belts. These are good quality leather. These are not cheap Chinese leather. I believe these, this leather is from Italy. So there's no cost spared on this bag. And another advantage, now I don't know a lot about horses, but I think they're called stirrups. They're designed, they've actually made these designed to be the exact length that you need for a horse on a stirrup. So if you're taking this with you and a horse, your cowboy, round up your cattle and so on, and you break your stirrup, whatever that is, on the horse, you got two spares used in this bag. So how brilliant is that? That's smart thinking. Now correct me if I'm wrong guys, if it's not called a stirrup. And that's basically it. So there's a foam in here and it also there's a, a set of sheets in these. Now they're an option, the sheets are optional. Okay, so when you go on to the drifter.com.au site and look up the Drifter Classic Swag and there's um, different options you can add. You can purchase, get the full kit, which is what I've got here. It's a full kit, everything included. Or you can get just the swag on its own. I'm not sure what it comes with. I think it just comes with the bag. And I don't know if it comes as a stirrups or not. But if you just check on the website, it'll all be there. So this is it. Quality heavy duty YKK zippers. Now what I'll do shortly is I'll bring the camera over and I'll give you a close up detail of this. 
So I think I've got it upside down. I do. But let's just try, see how that fits. So you probably can't see there, so I'll just come up and I'll grab the camera and I'll, and I'll bring it up here and show you a close up of it. Okay, so as you can see here, that's a close up. Heavy duty canvas. I believe this might be eight ounce canvas. Heavy duty zips. So we'll just go along and I'll show you. So you can see it fits quite nicely on that Helinox. And you're off the ground a bit. Now there's also an optional leg kit that you can get with these that brings you about a foot off the ground. Now if I was going to use this before I'd use it, I'd, I'd get the leg kit so you're off the ground a bit higher and it's not so hard to get in and out of bed. For you younger people, this will be perfect. This is all you'd need. But that'll give you a really comfortable sleep and warm as well. Just how, how big these zips are, look at that. That's my hand there. You see how big the zips are. So you've got two zips. So of course there's this nice little option of these drifter tags here. You can see, so they're, they're an option, you can purchase those. Now this particular swag opens on one side. So what I mean by that is it's fully closed in on this side. So what you do with that, you can throw this right over like so. Now there's another option that they have that's enclosed on the end. Okay? And that end, pretty much this section here is fully enclosed, but the dip goes all the way around instead of the side. I choose this option. Either way, whatever one you use, it's ideal. Now these are the optional sheets that you can get with these. So they're custom made. So this, so you can see there's elastic there. So what that means is that elastic. Okay, I'm not sure why for some reason it's not fitting too well. There it is. I think it just needs to be pulled over. That's better. So it's elastic and you see the zip here. So what that zip is, that's for your additional sheet. So you can see here, see that zip sheet? That sheet just zips right on the end there. And of course then you just use your pillow. So those sheets are an option, as I mentioned. But the actual mattress itself is not an option. That comes with the, that comes with it. And you do get the sheet with the uh, mattress. So you can sleep on it like this. If it gets a bit cold or it's a bit wet, of course this is waterproof, you can flip this over. So obviously it's not 100% waterproof. You don't want to be out in the open. But under an awning, if you've got a vehicle awning, like I have here, obviously you'll have no, no issues. Most swags are quite huge and cumbersome things. This here as a swag is quite small. It's compact uh, because you don't have the, the hoops and so on, the cover etc. So I think that's that's why it's called the classic swag. So it's based on the classic old design swags from years gone by, which a lot of people do appear to be going for. Now it's true there's no mozzie net over this. So if there is mozzies and midges around, you probably want to put some type of a mozzie net over the top. Then you can go to backpacking stores and so on 
and purchase those nets that go over the top and you could quite easily tie it, tie it off. I don't know if you can see me here, but just to, if you can, I'll show you over here. You could quite easily tie it off on top on these poles there and then hang that mozzie net over the top. So that's all you do with that. So it's quite simple, really. Probably close, it would be close to a year since I've set that up and I just totally forgot. I mean, it's complicated. You can see how many parts there is on there. And in fact, what we should do is to see, let's see how hard that is to put back together. Now, I do like how light it is. I mean, there's nothing there and it supports quite a fair bit of weight too. Something like 140 kilos, I believe. Now, you can see here, there are these clips. So what you do, is you pull those clips in, that releases it. <laughs> I think, okay, so what you gotta do is pull that in. Oops, that's quite, under quite a fair bit of force. So you're gonna need to hold that handle in and then pull those clips in. So it actually comes off a lot easier than it does putting it. Wow, you have to watch, there's quite a force there, which is probably good, because then that would um, keep it nice and taut on you. And then obviously, the rest, you just pull the, the bar out, like so. And like tent poles, with the little bungee cords on the inside. So, oh, that one's tight. So it's quick to pack away, but to be honest guys, <laughs> I would have packed that rooftop tent away by now and all the bedding and everything's up there, so yeah. I mean, I'm converted to rooftop tents. I think sleeping on the ground tents, not for me anymore unless I have to. And if I have to, I'll put up with this because it is comfortable. There's one thing about this, and comfort's really important. So sometimes it's worthwhile going through some, uh, you know, sometimes it's worthwhile having a product that's not as easy as some to put together if it means the comfort. You've got that major comfort with it, and that's really important. And this is... I have tried this in the past, and yes, it's very comfortable, particularly if you set the swag on the top with the extra mattress. And you will need that if you're in a cold, cold climate area, you will need that mattress for insulation. Otherwise, you might as well look for a block of ice and lay on top of it, because it's just gonna feel like the same thing. You're gonna have the cold come up under you. So don't think just because you're asleep, using a sleeping bag, you could have a negative 10 sleeping bag, you're still gonna freeze. Because what happens is, when you're laying on top of your sleeping bag, it compresses, and where it compresses, you've got no insulation there, so that cold is just gonna go right through. So sleeping bags only work if they're not compressed down. It's a relatively quick setup, particularly if you're not using this. I mean, if you're just using the swag and you're on the ground, uh, it's a, if you can sleep on the ground and you find the mattress is thick enough, I mean, the mattress on this, I think it's about six centimetre and it's quite a nice, comfortable mattress for that size. So Drift has done their research. Luke at Drift, he's certainly done his research on this. And I think he's got a winner here. It's a cracker. Now it's not cheap. But the quality is there. This here is a hand-me-down. You could hand this down to your grandkids 
And if you look after it, don't keep it in the weather and so on. And, and most important, keep it dry so the mould don't get it. Although it is UV treated, so it's not like a, a regular canvas where the mould will attack it, but can still get to it. So just look after it and that will outlast your life. So that's a one-off purchase that can be your kids can use. And what a wonderful memento that will be. Just imagine handing that down to your kids and they're handing it down to your grandkids and so on. So, be perfect. So as always, if you enjoyed this video or any others, uh, put a like and subscribe. It helps my channel out. The more, the more subscription I've got, the more videos I will be able to put out and so on. And anything else you want to know more about this, if you want a more detailed video or anything, just yell out and I can do another video and show you something. If you want to see how quick this is to set up, or once you know how it all goes together, just yell out. I can do another video, although I don't know, my wrist finds a bit hard to get that cranked down. For you young people, no problems, but I probably wouldn't recommend something like this if you haven't got good wrist or you've got a bit of arthritis or anything in your wrist uh, I would not recommend this because that's a lot of force to get that taut so that will do for now till next time cheers